subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this in this program, in this video, we will try to understand program number nine. The program is write a C program that prints all even numbers. So in this program is going to print all even numbers between 1 and 50. So whatever the even numbers that are there between 1 and 50. So those numbers will get printed in this program and this is very simple program. But why we have taken this program is in order to make you understand the use of for loop. So how a for loop, how a loop can be used. So this makes you clear understanding in how the how the loops will help us in programming. So in order to have a basic understanding on the loops, we, we feel that uh, this is the program where we can get uh, a clear idea on the for loop. So that is the reason why we have taken this program. Uh, the program contains uh, only one variable, it is i. Uh, one variable it is i and the user interface in the sense uh, in the sense the we are uh, we are helping the user to understand what's happening in this program so that this printf statement will help the user to understand what's happening in this program it is going to print even numbers between 1 and 50 inclusive or so uh, we are going to print this statement first and later we are going to print all the even numbers and this is the logic of the program so the logic of the program is very simple so what is the logic of the program is how to identify an even number so how to identify an even number mathematically is if you divide a number for example if you take 17 mod 2 if you do the modulus division of a number if you do the modulus division of a number this is the modulus division symbol uh, 17 mod 2 if it returns if the remainder so what is the modulus division it is going to give the remainder of the division so uh, the remainder of this division will get printed we, we are going to get the uh, remainder of this division so what is the remainder of this 17 by 2 17 by 2 uh, 17 will get divided 8 times uh, which is 16 and we are going to have a remainder 1 if the remainder if anything is divided by 2 and it is giving a reminder it, it gives only two reminders one is 0 and other one is 1 if if the remainder is 0 it is an even number and if the remainder is 1 if the remainder is 0 it is an even number if the remainder is 1 it is an odd number okay so this is how uh, this is the logic behind uh, how to find an even number so what this for loop is going to do is this i will get initialized with uh, this is what we call it as initialization part hope you uh, he, you have gone through this uh, c programming uh, concepts and you are here so for i is equal to initially it the i will get initialized to 1 and this loop will iterate for 50 times from 1 to 50 how it will get iterated so when i is equal to 1 every time uh, we we go with this for loop this statement this expression will get evaluated so we'll get evaluated so what this statement is what is the value of i initially it is 1 how the evaluation is done so is 1 less than or equal to 50 if this statement evaluates to be true this is the expression if this expression evaluates to be true then only we are going to come into this for for loop if this expression evaluates to be false immediately we will come out of this for loop and the statements after the for loop will get executed so this is how the for loop or any any loop will work and every time we are done excluding the first iteration after that every in every iteration we are going to execute this condition execute this expression so what this expression states is every time after uh, after the first step after the first uh, uh, first time we are coming into this for loop every time after that every time the value of i will get incremented means initially the value of i is equal to 1 
and uh, uh, as it has been initialized in the first step we are coming into this for loop after completion of this for loop for the first time next the i value will get incremented so the i value will become 2 and after that the i value will become 3 the i value will become 4 in that way it is going to go up to 50 50 will also get included what is the logic behind which made the 50 to be included in the uh, in the expression is it is uh, less than or equal to if you use less than we are we going to check for 50 no if the value of i is equal to 49 yes it will get compared and it happens to be true and after that the i will get incremented and it will become 50 so if we use 50 less than 50 so are we going to evaluate 50 also no this happens to be false so we are going to come out of the for loop okay so in order to make the 50 to be inclusive in the calculation we have used less than or equal to so that is very important to understand in loops if you want to include the final value also then we have to give equal to okay so this is how we are including the 50 also into the calculation and the calculation and the logic is this one so whenever the value i mod 2 is equal to 0 if this condition happens to be true if this condition happens to be true which means that it is an even number if this condition happens to be false uh, that value of i is an odd number are you able to understand so this is the logic of the program so whenever it happens to be true we are going to print the value of i okay so uh, this is the logic of the program and this for loop is going to iterate for 50 times and each time whenever the value of i mod 2 is equal to 2 that is going to be an even number and that will get printed the finally the return statement will get executed let's check this output on our computer and see whether the output is getting printed or not so this is the program and uh, compile this program and run this program so uh, even numbers between 1 to 50 inclusive are so these are the all the these are all the even numbers 2 4 6 8 10 12 so these are all the even numbers including the 50 okay so hope uh, you got the clarity on this program thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and, and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept or this program please post your doubt in the comment section below thanks for watching